Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello and welcome to MSHA Tech. Today we will discuss the important SAP ABAP interview questions. If you don't know about me, uh, do find the link in the description so you can find about me. I have been interviewing uh, SAP ABAP candidate for about last eight years and uh, I have found that uh, many of the candidates don't know how to answer the question and uh, what the basic knowledge required to pass an ABAP interview. So in this video, I will discuss some important interview questions and their solutions uh, one by one so they can learn how to answer the important questions. So let's begin. Number one, what uh, is the difference between transparent and pool tables or the question can be the differentiate uh, between transparent and pool table so uh, number one difference uh, in between transparent table and pool table is that the transparent table has one to one relation with the database table whereas the pool table has many to one relationship and Next uh, difference is it contains the transparent table contain only a single table whereas the pool table contain uh, many uh, many large or small uh, tables. Uh, the transparent tables stores master data whereas the pool table stores customizing customizing or system data. Uh, the next is the transparent table uh, has uh, can, we can create secondary index in the transparent table but we cannot create a secondary index in the pool table question number two uh, what are the difference between BAP PA and RFC uh, many of the candidates don't know what are the BAP PA and RFC so I choose this question for uh, this presentation so let's discuss what are BAP and what are the RFC BAPI stands for Business Application Programming Interface. So its name shows as that it is the interface. Uh, furthermore, the RFC is the remote function call. So let's uh, uh, discuss what is BAPI. BAPI is a standard program interface that allow accessing business processes as well as data for external application in the RT system. Whereas the RFC is a standard SAP interface for communicating between various SAP systems. This means RFC is only used for the SAP to SAP system, whereas the BAPI, where is the BAPI used for the communicating between between non SAP system to SAP system. Let's move. Uh, the BAPI is used to SAP to access the SAP functions across table across table formal and dialog free interfaces whereas the rfc is used to call function module that resides on various machines uh, bapi uh, shows the success or error message will be returned on a return table whereas the rfc uh, cannot have the return table that is why it doesn't uh, show any messages the next difference is the bapi is allow connecting with SAP for the outside world that is BB, .NET, Java or any non-SAP system as we discussed in the point number one. It uh, this point shows that the technology if the technology is also different uh, it no matter BAPI will be used easily whereas the RFC does not allow the non-SAP world to be connected to the SAP whatever this technology is using by the non SAP system and for in the case of RFC as it's not allowed question number three what are the differentiate difference between ALE and EDI uh, ALE is the application link enabling and whereas the EDI is the electronic data interchange so uh, let's uh, first find the difference uh, uh, between them and uh, ALE is the SAP technology used for transferring data between SAP systems whereas the EDI is the independent technology used for transferring data between two systems either, uh, either between SAP system or non-SAP system. It means we use the 
uh, the EDI technology for transferring data between the non-SAP system and the SAP system. But ALI, ALI is only used in, for the SAP systems only. The next difference is it is uh, ALE is useful in internal communication, whereas the EDI is useful for external communication. And next is the uh, ALE is used for distributing the master data, such as vendor master, material master within a company when a distributed environment has been maintained. Whereas the EDI is used for exchange, exchanging transaction data such as delivery, purchase order among two different businesses partner. Like, uh, like if, uh, if, uh, if one company is running an Oracle or something, some other system, whereas the other, the first, the other company is using the SAP system. So for connect communicate between the, these two businesses, we use the EDI electronic data inter interchange option. And that difference is, the ALE is uh, technically data transfer is done using memory buffer, whereas in EDI data transfer is done using a file port. Our next question number four is what is ITS in SAP? What are the merits of ITS? Many of, uh, uh, many of the people don't know what is ITS. So let's discuss. ITS is an internet, internet transaction server in SAP is necessary to link between the internet and the SAP system. It is integrated into a kernel belong that belongs to SAP NetWeaver application server. So it is built in a feature which exists in SAP NetWeaver server. Whereas and also it is used to link between the internet and the SAP R3 system. So it is the main communication source and main uh, main backbone of uh, uh, SAP system. So that is why SAP communicate to the internet via ITS. So uh, ITS uh, creates an interface between R3 system as we discussed and HTTP server for converting screen provide data by the R3 system into HTML files. It means that the ITS convert the, uh, the data from RC system to the HTTP uh, files, so then the RC system communicate uh, communicate to the internet, and uh, uh, all of us know the internet's uh, uh, internet's language is the HTTP hypertext transfer protocol. Uh, many of us know that the internet understand the language of HTML. Uh, hypertext markup language so uh, the this uh, ITS convert the SAP systems files to the uh, to the HTML files and the HTML files to the R3 systems so because of integration with ITS a web browser browser is able to direct communication with an SAP system ITS access with the help of internet communication manager so let's move question number five explain about log object in sap abap log object is an abap dictionary provide a feature provided feature used to synchronizing the access to the same data by multiple user or program it means that it's a it's a feature provided by the sap uh, which synchronizes the access to the same data by multiple users or program mean if a if a person if a user using the data uh, and the other user also want uh, the same data or also want to update the same data at the same time so sap uh, allow allow users allow uh, allow uh, allow us to control this ambiguity because if the both person uh, update the same uh, the same data so the ambiguity will be uh, arise. For example, if we discuss uh, the uh, the flight system, so uh, if uh, if if the lock object uh, doesn't exist in the system, so uh, the same same seat will be allotted to the uh, to the different uh, different user or different customer. Whereas 
if uh, whereas in sap this is not uh, this cannot be happen because of the lock object controlling so lock object in sap abap are used for avoiding inconsistency during data insertion or modification in the database tables whose data record are gonna lock must be defined with their key field in a lock object so it's it's exist in the uh, transaction code sc11 and uh, it is a it is very good feature i have explored so let's uh, move to the next question question number 6 explain the type of function modules in sap abap as you know function modules are uh, mostly used in the sap abap programming so uh, always interviewer will ask the question about function module so let's discuss function module are encapsulated procedures in abap and are group in function group if the interviewer asks about what is function module you can answer that function module are encapsulated procedures and are group in function groups function modules are created with the help of function builder se37 transaction the type of function module relies on the type of processing this mean the uh, we, and the and the processing we required the processing business required uh, business required uh, will be uh, will be change the type of the function will be used according to the business requirement so let's uh, discuss the discuss the types of function module there are two type of function modules one is uh, regular function module and other another one is remote enable function module so what is regular function module it will be executed immediately and synchronously on the current sap system of the user it is the default option mean that it executed when we call uh, when we call this type of function module it executed immediately and synchronizes on the current sap system of the user the uh, the syntax is written here call function function name if the parameter exists let's uh, write the parameter list and if the parameter table exists let's write the parameter tables so what uh, what are remote enable function modules rfc function module uh, is uh, is the is the function module which are uh, called by the remote system r3 or r2 r2 or r3 that realizes on the rfc protocol for example it is possible to define remote function module in a ewm extended warehouse management system which will be later called by you, by your erp enterprise resource planning system system for obtaining further information related to stock level or shipment details so uh, remote enable function uh, remote enable uh, function module are mainly used to communicate between the two uh, between the uh, between the large landscape so the if the for example uh, it is given the warehouse management system if a warehouse warehouse management system is on the another landscape and uh, we have to get the information about the inventory or the other the other levels in stock levels or other information of inventory or warehouse so we use the rfc enabled function module to collect to get the data about the about the inventory so let's move on question number 7 explain about interfaces in sap abap interface in sap abap is an independent structure that is used when two similar classes have the same method name but the functionalities of each will be different from each other it looks similar to classes the method defined in an interface needs implementation in a class for extending the scope of that class it's mean that it is an independent structure interface is independent structure and when two similar classes have the same method name uh, method name or the meta signature but the functionalities of each will be different from each other they can use this uh, this structure easily and utilize according to their uh, according to their need according to the need of uh, method so uh, it looks similar to classes but the method defined in interface 
needs implementation in a class for extending the scope of that class it's mean uh, they are similar to classes but the method defined it's mean and it's it's interface interface are similar to class and but its implementation is in the class for extending the scope of that class interface as well as inheritance features all of us we know that the inheritance is the very strong uh, feature of object oriented programming and sap web also adopted so uh, for in interfaces we uh, we use the concept of polymorphism um, in the in which the same function uh, a function defined interface may act differently in various classes um, it's mean that the function defined uh, the function name and the other things are uh, are the same but the but its implementation is different due to this uh, it's act differently in di in different classes so let's uh, explore the the syntax of interface the interface and then interface name after that data class data method class methods and an interface this mean a particular type of data will be defined a particular defined a particular type of class data methods and class methods will be defined uh, in this interface and then this interface can be used can be used in many uh, classes and then many classes can have their own uh, implementation of these data and then can get the desired result according to their needs so uh, i will discuss some more questions in my coming video so hope you learn something if you like this video do click on the like button and also subscribe to my channel for new videos uh, let's meet into next video till then bye bye take care